In today's video, I'm excited to provide an update on an AI company trying to disrupt the healthcare and drug discovery sector. So without wasting any time, let's jump in and see what the company's been up to. Immunoprecise Antibodies is the company we're giving an update on today. You can find it on the NASDAQ under IPA. And as you can tell, this chart is pretty excited. It's up by 23.5% as of the close of July 3rd. It's probably because they had news out. On the, on the third, they tell us that they validated their Lens AI, and this is a pretty big deal. We're going to jump into that jump into that in a few moments. But first, this is not our first video on the company. As you can see here, in the last day, hey, it's done like really well. In the last five days, up by 15. In the last month, up by 96. But year to date, it's up by 191%. We introduced it to you twice. This is our third video on the company. Again, IPA on the NASDAQ. We first talked about it around 50 cents, and then secondly, around, I think around 40 cents. I can go back and look at the channel. But this is really what's driving it here. They have a nice news flow every month. Look here, March, April, May, June, July. And the reaction is what's really important here. Like I said, this sounds really simple, but the reaction to the news, meaning all this news flow right here, is really bullish, 191%. Our algo also agrees. And I say that because... Before the video, I did a manual push. Again, this is my system, the algo.com. So please make sure to read the description for full disclosure details because nothing in life is a guarantee. These are ideas. It could work out. It could also not work out. But in, in, uh, in simple terms, what my system looks for is oversold stocks. Uh, check, I think the stock is oversold. There's also not really any meaningful volume that's uh, on the sell side. So the next thing we look for is the stock has stopped going down and it wants to go up. I mentioned this in the last video. Let's look a little bit closer. So I think we can agree the stock is oversold. Let's look at the levels. 22 cents. That's pretty far down from where we are right now. Yes, it's almost a dollar. Yes. And our upside is over a dollar at 2.6, roughly a dollar and 50 cents. But we have to be mindful of that because if we're looking for a reversal, not a bounce, we don't really know that unless we give a breathing room here. So if we entered at 30 or 40, excellent. And now it's not that we're late to the party. It's that we have to learn to manage our expectations. 1.5 is great. And what I want to show you on the chart is exactly what that means. First thing, volume usually precedes price. Man, look at the volume. Yep, it was a low of uh, 39 up to 92 cents. And then now we're above it. So we're above that 92 cent high. Excellent. And we're above key relative lows. Also excellent. We also have continuation volume, and it looks like earnings might be a catalyst. This looks like if the chart wants to continue to go higher, we could go higher for higher for 12 months. That's our window of opportunity. Or we're forecasting again, like the weatherman, which again, sometimes is right, sometimes he's wrong. We're predicting that the next 10 candles is going to go up. 2.6 would also get us up to roughly our key relative high and still below our 50 MA. So there you go. There's an algo AI generated idea on an algo AI company, which is what? Trying to improve their lens AI with uh, epitope mapping platform across broad range of unseen therapeutic targets beyond training data. So this is not just, an, just another AI model. And uh, it's generally assumed that AI can only accurate, uh, make accurate, accurate predictions if it has seen similar data before. This is what uh, Jennifer Bath, the CEO, was telling us that um, might be different. But this benchmark proves otherwise. Lens AI accurately mapped antibody bindings uh, sites in entirely new antibody, uh, completing sorry protein complex none of where none of which were used in training. As you can tell, this is a little bit above my pay grade. But let's continue. Not the antibodies, not the targets, not the complexes, and the predictions align with wet lab results. This is a major breakthrough in generalizing AI for the therapeutic discovery made possible by our proprietary technology, which captures functional meaning instead of memorizing shapes. It shows that AI doesn't always need massive data to be powerful and accurate. It just needs to, it just needs the right kind. This is important because it tells us that they're accurately predicting uh, binding on seven, 17 previously unseen. Unseen is the key word there. It's not been seen before. Achieving near crystallography precision with prior training data, without prior training data. Like I said, a little bit above my pay grade, but people like to seem uh, people seem to like the news because the stock is up. Um, so, what is exactly this theme? AI for biotech. It's basically what it is. 
AI's potential to accelerate drug discovery needs a reality check. Why? It's expensive, and it generally takes 12 to 15 years from the initiation of a discovery to the point of a national drug regulatory agency marketing approval. It can cost a, up, upwards of a $2.5 billion to bring a drug to market, which means a lot of drugs don't. They don't get discovered. The cost is really high. And this is why 90% of clinical drug development fails and how to improve it. Hmm, if only there was a trend that investors were very familiar with, it's called biotech or biotechnology, and people are always looking for the next big thing. That's what this company might be. There's a reason why it's done really well. There's a reason why it's up hundreds of percent, but it's also still a really small company. There could potentially be a lot more upside from here. I'm not trying to say that uh, I know everything about the company, but here's what I do know. If we step back in time, like we did in the previous videos, look, February, January, again, let's look at the chart here from year to date, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. All right, year to date, sideways up. Okay. So sideways then up, it seems like what they did was lay the foundation for good news, GLP-1, empowering drug discovery. And then up until now, they've done a pretty good job with follow through. The market seems to like what they're doing. So specifically, let's jump into this one right here. We just talked about the quote from the uh, from the CEO, and um, it's pretty impressive. So, if it's never seen the data before, um, how was it able to do it? Um, this is a this is a follow up to their June twenty fourth uh, news release that tells us that they've advanced universal dengue vaccine, confirming safety, immune activation, and structural stability using Lens AI platform powered by patented HYFD technology. Again, trademark this, registered that. This is good. It means there's proprietary technology here. This is a major step forward. Our AI not only found a new target for a universal dengue vaccine, but we've now seen it's uh, it's safe and can trigger the right immune response. With, the, with this validation, we're excited to move ahead and advance this candidate towards the next stage of vaccine development. Whoa. Uh, according to the New York Times, trillions of viruses live in your body. AI is trying to find them. Whoa, pew, pew, pew. It's going to go read my whole body like a big, uh, big library. That's the idea. And uh, with these models, they're able to look at trillions of data points. Again, trillions of viruses live in our body. Trillions of viruses. Doesn't say trillions of cells. That seems like it could be a really big opportunity. We also know that going back to March, they had this. They enter, uh, sorry, let's read it here. Immuno, uh, IPA. Um, and a global biotech leader enter into a U.S. eight to ten million dollar partnership for the development of novel cancer therapeutics. Yes, and remember, the company is still fairly small. So, if the company that backed them at the time felt like a U.S. eight to ten million, because again, that's Canadian dollars for the 50, 60 million, right? Monopoly money. Actually, sorry, my apologies. This is on the Nasdaq. It's a Canadian company on the Nasdaq. So. Compared to the market cap, this was a big injection. What if they deliver on it? Cancer is like a pretty big problem. They seem a little bit, uh, uh, they seem to be getting some momentum, which is good. So what's an update on this? Well, I'm probably going to find out maybe on the earnings call, maybe earlier, maybe after. In April, they had more meaningful updates too. Non-animal testing methods. Hmm. They also talked about their, uh, their platform delivering X-ray level Epitope, I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Mapping insight in our and whores, uh, matching uh, gold standard method with uh, methods with greater speeds. Like I said, uh, th there's a lot of unique words in here. And the last one I want to look at is this one here. This is uh, immunoprecise jumps after AI peptides beat semaglutide in the lab tests. What does all this stuff mean? <sighs> I'm going to have to find out more about this. Um, semaglutide sold by uh, Nova Nordic is the active ingredient in Ozempic and Wagovi to treat diabetes and obesity. Okay. Mm, so this is the update to uh, the GLP-1. Co's proprietary tech uh, called HIFT and Lens AI use mathematical patterns to design peptides that are stable, effective, and biologically active. Whoa. Hmm. Hmm, this looks pretty interesting. So there's your update video. There's more that we can chew off here, maybe in a future video. But one, one more time, immunoprecise precise antibodies can be found on the NASDAQ under the ticker IPA. And then for the audience, please make sure to read the description 
for full disclosure details. Thank you very much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.